be your expectations from 2016 for the real estate sector? Well, we are very positive and hopeful from 2016. Um, the, there are some asset classes that have already started performing well, which is commercial. The offtake is um, good um, absorption across many cities. And uh, also on the, uh, on the um, residential uh, asset class, we feel that the demand should stabilize now. As developers give their uh, possessions, they'll complete their projects that should instill further confidence in the buyer segment. And we also see uh, some new launches probably in more affordable segments. Will home prices remain stable or rise in 2016? Well, for, for 2016, we would expect that they would remain stable. Um, there, are, there are many subventions that the developers have done in order to, uh, in order to meet the pressures on their time, on their uh, cash flows, as well as yeah, as well as reach, uh, uh, you know, to, to make the to make the home prices uh, more more lucrative for the, for the buyers. Uh, 2016 would remain stable in as far as the prices are concerned. And however, at the same time, we would expect some further stock to be added in the affordable segment. Um, newer stock to be uh, you know, added in the affordable segment. And also we would see a lot of developers completing their projects and handing out position. That definitely should increase the confidence levels of the buyers um, and therefore help the industry. Your perspective on the government's affordable housing scheme? I think it's a great initiative in order to realize the uh, 20, uh, 2022 uh, vision of the government. Affordable is a great initiative. However, there are certain things that it's a collaborative effort between the government and the developers. Uh, collaborative in the sense that uh, government will have to take the lead in creating the infrastructure uh, for making affordable work because given the line prices uh, within the city circles, I don't think that affordable really will be, uh, would be a viable, uh, would be viable for, for any developer. Therefore, um, infrastructure, creating the, uh, creating the modules, creating the, uh, creating the pockets which are outside of the existing cities, but yet having proper infrastructure, having proper uh, 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 transport, road networks is definitely going to uh, you know, help in creating those affordable uh, pockets. Many feel jittery while dealing with developers. How could we change this perception issue? I think. Uh, First and foremost, real estate bill is a step uh, in that direction uh, to address those issues which will bring a lot of transparency uh, to the buyers and make them feel assured that whatever is being promised is being delivered and the developer is bound by, uh, by uh, the, the common, uh, you know, uh, common norms laid down as per the real estate regulatory bill. Uh, I think that will instill a lot of confidence um, into the buyer. Your advice to the common home buyer? My advice would, to them would be don't uh, really equate every developer uh, in the same manner. I think it's a wrong notion that all the developers are uh, not transparent or uh, they uh, um, you know, uh, they're not fair. I think we still, we have developers uh, like us who have been actually, whose systems are already geared uh, in, in, in the direction in which the real estate bill is trying to move now.